I'm the Dollar Sportsman, and uh, I promised you guys we'd have a little bit more fun soon, and this is the plan. So, I've always kind of wondered how much protection would the front of a car give you if someone were shooting at you on the inside? So, you got you know, the engine, which obviously that's going to stop stuff, and then you got your dash, which isn't going to stop anything. I couldn't help but wonder how much would a radiator help? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to find out what calibers will go through this and how much uh, radiators will stop bullets. We got a few different kinds and I'm excited to test it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with water as if it were actually installed. Try to plug up all the holes with tape and then we'll see how much damage we can get done. This is gonna be fun. All right, so come in and take a look at this. This is a radiator from my old Dakota. So, Cold Blue Cody and I were uh, working on this thing and we uh, got, took a long time to get it out. A little bit of frustration was uh, probably communicated and I figured, you know, I could return this radiator and get a, a reimbursement for the core, but we wanted to, we wanted to have some revenge. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm taping up the holes. We're going to fill this with water. And I, I should mention that Cold Blue was with me that night and his wife was nine months pregnant going into labor and there he is helping me with my truck. So, Cold Blue, I really appreciated that. I'm not going to forget that, and I really think you should have named your daughter Dakota. <laughs> because that's what we were doing that night. Fixing the truck. Your wife was in labor in my living room. It was awesome. All right, we got the radiator all set up. We got the GoPro. This is my good buddy Brandon. Uh, shooting this thing up. I'm glad you brought the uh, some interesting firepower. Yeah, well, you got to have good stuff. That's right. All right, let's do this. Well, this is a Ruger Bearcat. Six round, single shot, or single action only, a 22 revolver. Um, just acquired it. Haven't shot it before. It'll be fun to see how it goes. Yeah. What's the other 22 you got? Well, this is a Marlin Lover Action. Golden Mountie. This, was, this one here was made in 1968. Uh, it's got the micro groove barrel, which uh, makes it one of the more accurate 22s ever produced. Um, haven't shot it yet either. Just acquired it as well. That's exciting. All right, well, let's put it up against this uh, this thing. <laughs> All right. Mountie versus radiator. All right, let's see what damage it did. All right, let's see where you hit it. Did it go through? Yes, it did. Right there. 22. So, I think the moral of the story is a radiator ain't helping you nothing. <laughs> Everything's gonna pierce through it. So, the 22 went through, then Oh yeah, you can even see some of the leaking of the water down there. That's awesome. It's bleeding. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the shadows, but you can see some of the wet down there. So a uh, 22, or a radiator rather, filled with water is still not going to stop at 22. So, let's go handle the rest of the bullets. All right. Okay, we got uh, the Ruger LC9S. You've seen this before on another one of my videos. You should check that one out too, it was fun. Let's see if I can hit the radiator all the way from here. Uh, these are nine millimeter hollow points from Winchester.
check it out. Yep. I think it's safe to say even hollow points are gonna punch through this. Right there. That's actually not too bad of a group for the distance we're at. Had a good 15 yards, 20 yards. I don't know. Still within body range, so I like that too. <laughs> Alright, let's go to something bigger. Alright, we got cheap Russian rounds. We're gonna do two of those. I have the AR-15, and then I got two uh, green tip. So I'll do the cheap rounds first, and then we'll do the green tip. Now, we know everything's going through it, but when in doubt, why not to see some green tip just for the fun of it? I mean, come on. Everyone loves green tip. All right. You guys remember this? It's my Aero Precision Rifle. I'm really fond of this thing. I got the, uh, the sights dialed in at 25 yards, which is equivalent to 300 yards. So I'm just using iron sights today. This is about, maybe this is longer than uh, 15 yards. Maybe this is 25. I don't know, but let's shoot it. All right, let's check it out. All right, so come and take a look at these holes right here. I don't know if you can even tell the difference between which one was uh, the green tip and which one wasn't. It looks like hit right here, and then a couple up here. These are slightly bigger, but I'm not sure if that would have been the expansion of a regular or the, the steel tip. I don't know, but let's, uh, let's keep working our way up. Let's do some uh, 30 out six now. Okay, explain to me what you got here. So here we got uh, 30 out six rounds. I got three different grain weights. Uh, I got some 125 grain, some 150 grain, and some 180 grain. We're gonna go ahead and load that up so that uh, 180 grain comes out last, 150 grain comes out second to last, and first, get 125 grain. Sounds good. All right, here we go, 125 first. Wow, I think you blew a hole straight through the tank. All right, 150 grain. And 180. Sweet. Let's go check it out. All right, what do we got? Well, here's one of them. When I was trying to shoot this side of the tank. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get a good shot of right down the center of that thing. Man, that's awesome. All right. It looks like you got another shot. The other two right here. These are the biggest yet. <sighs> On this side, you can really see where it's bulged out. And over here. Man, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just shredded. And there's my shooting stand. <laughs> Oops. Well, what do you say we finish this thing off? All right. We just got to kill a radiator. We just got to kill a radiator. Ready?
I would say if you're hiding in a car behind a radiator with no engine, <laughs> it's not going to do you any good. That's awesome. We want to do more fun stuff like this, so uh, feel free to support the channel. Like, subscribe, share, uh, click on the support button. I don't think I've had that on my channel yet, and uh, I'm going to get that on now. But yeah, the more, uh, the more we can do, the more fun we're going to have, so keep it coming. Also, I want you to tell me what are some of the other things you'd like to see done, either anything to do with outdoor sportsmen, you know, being on a budget. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me what you think, whether you want more shooting, what types of shooting, whether you want more hunting and hunting tips, survival tips, etc. We're going to have all that coming, but I want you to give me some fresh ideas. So with that, I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'm out. Got some shotguns, a couple of buddies, and it's going to be a great day. The story is both of these are excellent shotguns. It's free. That should be fun. Whoa! <laughs> Boom. Here we are. Every time. Now you can show right. <laughs>